poppin' boys. It's your boy Kaden the Rake, Kaden the Don, Rake Kill Kane the building, bro. One of my boys hit me up with the young screenshot. He hit me up with the with the message. And it brought me to a topic that I wanted to talk about that's dear to my heart, bro. The moment when she comes crawling back to you, bro. When she come crawling back, when you got it together, bro, when you dating other women, when you start getting yourself together and you getting on your grind, on your purpose, on your passion, on your fashion, all of that good stuff. When you get into it, bro, that moment she realized, man, I lost a good thing. That moment when she out here, bro, and she dating around and sleeping around and all that, and she realized, she get to that realization that, damn, I haven't found better yet. Damn, I haven't found anyone that quite does it the way that he did it. And I've been checking out his social media. I've been checking out this and that. And he just seemed to be getting better and better. That moment when she realized in her head, bro, when she get it through her dome that, man, this dude may have been more than I thought he was. And my value might be less than what I thought it was. That moment when the tables turn, bro. I love it. And she come crawling back. And she hits you with that message like, Oh, you really deleted me? Oh, you really not talking to me anymore? Or, oh, how you doing? How's your puppy? How's this? How's that? When she hits you up about something that's off subject when the reality is she really just want to talk to you, bro. Because she came to that realization that you got to a place where it's better. Where you're better, bro. And I love it. So what do you do in that moment she come crawling back, bro? As a man, bro, you have to be in this space where you recognize she ain't it. Or if you do want her back, bro, you got to put her in a position. You have to put her in a place where she earns everything, bro. She got to stand back in line, bro. It's like when you go and you stand in line to order your food and you left your wallet in the car. So you got to go back to the car, bro, and get your wallet. And you got to stand back in that line again because you don't get to jump to the front. None of that. She don't get to jump to the front no more, bro. She lost that opportunity to be the number one. And the roster to be the main girl, to be the only girl. She lost that opportunity. Now she got to compete with your other options, my guy, in order to become number one again. Now she got to show you more than she ever showed you to become number one again. You want to know why? Because the first time it wasn't good enough. Or at the very least, she thought you wasn't good enough. So now she got to prove she good enough to be on your level. Because you upgrade. You leveling up. You doing the damn thing. And she ain't. The thing about these women, bro, and this some real RP shit I'm about to drop for you. The thing about these women is they get told their entire lives that they're beautiful and all of this stuff. So they feel entitled, bro. They feel almost entitled to the fact that they could pick you up and drop you whenever you want, whenever they want to, bro. And it just ain't like that. You got to show her that it ain't like that. You got to show her, hey, you don't get to just come in and be a part of what I'm building after you threw me to the wayside because you thought what I was building wasn't good enough. You don't get to be a part of that, bro. Now you got to earn it. And that's if, if I give you the chance to earn it because now I'm in the driver's seat, dog. Now I'm the one in the car. You was in the driver's seat because I was being beta because I was being weak. But that's okay. I took my driver's seat back. Now I'm driving the car. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, you got to be in a space. You got to get to this space with these women like, hey, you don't get no kudo points off what you used to do because I ain't getting that with you. I didn't get that with you when you decided to unilaterally change the terms of our relationship. I didn't get that with you. You decided to leave. You decided you wanted something better. You decided you could get something better. So why can't you find nothing better? Why didn't you find nothing better? Because you can't. Because you ain't. Because you delusional about your actual value. You delusional about your actual sexual market value out here. And now you realize... That I was the one. 
I was the highest that you could get at that point in time. I was the highest there, bro. I'm the highest quality male. Now you got to do the work. You know what I mean? So when she come crawling back, bro, and you in, you, you in the driver's seat, use your power, my dog. Use it. Abuse that power, my dog. You want to know why? Cause she would have done the same thing to you. She would have definitely done the same thing to you. She would have used and abused that power, bro. She would have told you wait on her. She'd have kept you in limbo. She'd have made you earn her back. She'd have made you earn everything. You want to know why? Because in this world, so many simp dudes and all of that stuff give these women so much validation. So much, so much telling them they beautiful and all of that. And that may be true. They may be beautiful. That they feel like they above you. They feel like they on a pedestal. And you supposed to do all of this work just to earn her presence, bro. Her presence. Just to earn her being there. She don't even got to do nothing. You earn her being there. That ain't the reality of it. That ain't the reality, bro. So when she come crawling back to you, you make her earn every bit. Every scrap of everything that she want, bro. You want to know why? Because she would have did the same to you. At the end of the day, she did the same to you. My guy. That moment when she come crawling back to you, man. Like, it's like, it validates almost. It should nothing validate you, but it almost validates everything you've been working towards, bro. It validates the fact that you are working to upgrade yourself, bro. You dating other women of higher quality or potentially higher quality. You doing what you supposed to do as a man to grow your empire, bro, and become more than you ever been. You a high quality male and that shit validates it, bro. And, and she see that, which is why she reaching back out to you. Because she see that, my guy. I'm going to leave this video short. This is just a little bit of motivation, bro. For all of my guys pressing out there, bro. My boy sent me a screenshot. He sent me a screenshot. He was like, Kaden, you got to make a video about this, man. When they come crawling back. And I was like, I got you, my boy. You want to know why? Because that's motivation, bro. That's a success story, my guy. And you got to love the success stories, bro. When you work on yourself, when you become better, when you ain't the same dude that she ended up leaving, when she ended up unilaterally leaving you and deciding you wasn't enough, when you ain't the same dude when she come back and she got to earn that, that feel good, my guy. That's success, my guy. And that's one of the many successes you're going to have, especially if you over here, my boy. It's your boy Kaden the Rake, Kaden the Dime, man. I just wanted to drop some motivation on your head, bro. Get to it, bro. Get to work. Start building. Build your empire, my guy. Drop a like, man. If you lurking, subscribe. Stop playing games. Hit that like button, man. Let me know in the comments, bro. I want to hear most success, bro. Let me know in the comments what you doing, man. I'm out of here.